Today it looks a lot like other sleepy senior developments. But when it opened in 1960, Sun City introduced Americans to a radical new approach to growing old. An approach dreamed up by a visionary developer named Del Webb. At 63, Webb was already a wealthy businessman and co-owner of the New York Yankees. He would go on to even greater fame and fortune as the owner of a string of Las Vegas casinos. But Sun City was the project that made his name. He imagined it as a vibrant but safe, all-inclusive village where thousands of residents could live out their golden years in style. Not as seniors, but as active adults. In one-story houses that were easy to navigate, on streets coiled around neighborhood centers to keep them conveniently close, where grandkids could visit but couldn't move in. No project like it had ever been attempted on such a vast scale, and even Webb had doubts that it would work. But in 1959, he broke ground on its first phase, a shopping center, golf course, community center, and five model homes. To drum up publicity, Webb held a contest to pick a name for his new community, and legend has it that he personally chose Sun City as the winning entry. At his January 1st, 1960 opening, 100,000 people showed up to see what Webb was up to. He sold them 237 of his still unbuilt homes before the weekend was over. He would sell almost 2,000 more by the end of the year. By then, Webb's doubts were over. Today, Sun City has over 26,000 houses and a median age of 73.4, just as Del Webb imagined.